Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aquarius. I realized that I did not tell you all about the gift that I have for you all. So I went to the bookstore. You all know how I love to go to the bookstore and I like to get gifts. So um, this book, this is the gift. It's called In Focus, Reiki, Your Personal Guide. Um, this is cool. Let's see. The first person who uh, who texted me, not, not below, not in the um, description, who texted me on my cell phone number. You guys have my cell phone number. I gave it out on the on the Freedom Friday video. So, this book is pretty cool. I'm, I'm gonna. This is the book that I'm gonna send you. Uh, whoever the first person is that reaches out to me, I'm gonna see if I can go get more of these books for you guys. So the contents and introduction to Reiki, common causes of illness, um, um, the second chapter, the first steps to becoming a Reiki healer. Third chapter, uh, excuse me, third chapter, the first degree of Reiki study. Fourth chapter, self-healing and 21-day cleanse. Um, this, the fifth chapter, second degree. Sixth chapter, healing others. Um, the seventh chapter, the five Reiki principles and further degrees. Um, the eighth chapter is chakras and channels. The ninth chapter is the aura. Uh, tenth chapter, chapter is angels and guides. Uh, seven, I'm sorry, 11th chapter is healing across space and time. This is pretty cool. Uh, chapter 12 is Reiki and crystals. Chapter 13 is aura clearing and shamanic healing. And then fourth, I mean, 14th chapter, your own Reiki practice. This is really cool. So here's the book. Here's the book, right? Uh, this is your Freedom Friday message. So keep in mind, guys, when I do giveaways, I mean, they're literally gone. Like some people put their notifications on all. So don't forget to put your notifications on all. So as soon as it pops up, you'll know. But I did not, I forgot to mention it in the first video. So this is the bonus video. And so let's read a little bit of it since we got a little bit of time here. So we can go ahead. This is this is your bonus video. What's in this book? Hmm. Yes. What does this book say? And this is somebody's book. Here we have holistic healing involves treating the mind, body, and soul of one entity rather than treating the symptoms alone. And Reiki in its different forms is the center of many holistic healing practices. In this book, we will look at some causes of illnesses along with ways in which we can aid the healing process for ourselves and others by using the connection between the mind, body, and soul. We will also see how cases that would have been described as miracles in the past are becoming more accepted in, uh, as the results of holistic healing methods such as Reiki, uh, which themselves are becoming more and more popular, perhaps due to part of the rising cost of health care. This is so cool. This is really, really cool. I think you guys would really like this book. Again, this is somebody's book, the, pers the first person who reaches out to me. Um, the it says here on the back of the book um the term reiki is a combination of the japanese word uh rei meaning universal life and ki meaning energy this specialized practice of balancing the universal life energy is based on specific hand placements around the body to send healing energy to blocked or weakened areas to help ease suffering mm -hmm. so this book is written by a uh a reiki master as he teaches the basics of this popular healing system and taps into your inner healer to understand how Reiki can be used to reduce stress, depression, anxiety, and physical pain in others and yourself and in others. So if I can find some more of these books, um, in case, if, if you guys are interested, like I said, whoever I only have one of these books, so whoever, I'm well, I have one for myself, but whoever wants this book, you know, let me know. That's the second part of your giveaway. But again, let's see if we can pull, you know, for this, because I know somebody's going to be like at the end of the other video, you didn't mention the giveaway. What's the giveaway gift? It's in this video. <laughs> it's in this video. It's in this video. Let's see if we got some one last. Um, Let's see if we can pull, you know, one last little bit of cards for you guys in this video here. Since I, since I was so excited about your cards here. It slipped my mind. As, as soon as I turned the camera off, Aquarius, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to tell them. I forgot to mention the gift and I literally had it sitting right there. All right. So let's see if we can get one 
more set of cards pull for you all and see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say for your bonus reading. So you all got the idea. Remember, if you if you see this book, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, if you see this reading, like please set your, your notifications to all. And you guys know by now, and if you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you'll stick around and, you know, uh, and hang out with us for a while. Um, but if you, if you set your notifications to all, usually I will announce it either on my Instagram channel, my community page for YouTube or here. Um, and you also know we're coming up on Pisces season. If you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, we try to make it as fun as possible. The giveaways, you know, you can also win during uh, Pisces season. Just watch the Pisces videos because obviously that's where they will be announced. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see if there's some more messages. Let's see if there's more messages for the Aquarius. Yes, Aquarius. Let's see if there's more messages. Yeah, but I think somebody's gonna really, really like this book. And if I can, um, if I can find some more of the same book, um, I will look for, I will look for some more and get some and announce it again. But by the time I announce it again, it'll probably be. No, we have <clears throat> we have one more one more reading. Here we have the Three of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles, La Luna. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Dame of Pentacles, and El Bobo. All right. So here's the Fool card and also the Moon card, right? So the Fool card is attached to uh, attached to uh, the planet Uranus. And so Uranus is one of your ruling planets. And this is where somebody no longer feels foolish be, about leaving some energies behind that were already, the relationships were kind of hanging by a thread anyway. They were already tricky. Relationship could have been family relationships, friendships, romantic relationships or whatever. Somebody says, yeah, it was kind of overwhelming anyway. So, you know, I wish them the best. You, This Ace of Pentacles lets me know that somebody's been really, really working very hard on, um, creating a foundation, feeling secure about themselves, you know, after maybe possibly growing up, shaking ground. Here we have the Dame of Pentacles and also the Three of Pentacles. Again, further letting you know that everything, all systems are a go. Source is saying to you, all the green light, you can go ahead and start building your new foundation. That means, you know, some people, some people have literally cut off their entire family because it was just that heartbreaking and just that deeply disappointing. But for some of you all who have not cut off your entire families, and you still have people there that, you know, they skating on thin ice, you know, make it known. Here we have the three of swords. This lets me know that somebody's heart was break, broken into three. And so once you're able to create firm foundations with your family and you feel secure after that, everybody else is easy. Seriously, everybody else is easy. It's like, if I can cut off certain family members, that's easy. You know, and I'm saying I meaning you. When you, you're saying to yourself, you know, if you can cut off certain family members, it's like, okay, that's easy. But yeah, so that's what I see for you all coming up. I do see, like I said before, um, information coming to you, which would have been overwhelming for you. Uh, and those are the types of energies that you don't want to enter your circle. You don't want those types of energies to enter your airtight circle because you feel just that secure. You've already shed the skin. You don't care if they're calling you a snake in a negative sense because they don't understand that a snake would, uh, represents their kundalini experience in an awakening and they too can close out cycles if they wanted to close out cycles in their lives as well. So, you know, people are, like I said, calling you a snake. Oh, well, I mean, what are you supposed to do with that? We have the two of wands. I do see some travel coming your way. I do see somebody, you know, really deciding, hey, I need to take some vacations. I need to take some trips. We have the page of cups here that there could be, like I said, source really wants you to focus on you, like really, really focus on you. And, um, we're going to come back to that page of cups and reverse in just a second. But again, see how this person has, uh, so on every full card, this, this person kind of like standing on the edge, but you see that they get, they have all, they have access to all of the elements, right? So they have air here. They have sun, which is fire, obviously earth. And in somewhere out here, there's water. You know, there's somewhere there's water. Um, and obviously there had to be some water for that green, that green to grow. There had to be some kind of washing away of some things. So that's what you all did. And here's the water right here. You realize this, some of the, that water was overwhelming for you. the emotions, the manipulation, all of that stuff that you left behind was overwhelming for you. So you said, no, nah, I need to go ahead and I need to move on from that. 
I've been working too hard. I don't feel like a fool. I feel changed. I feel liberated and I feel free, you know, from those things. Here we have the Six of Swords further letting me know that you've sailed away from some things. There's a Fool card again. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Star card. And so this um, Fool card came out twice. Definitely in an Aquarius. Definitely in Aquarius where you have a, or you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart where you feel like I'm inspiring myself. I know how to water my own instead of me drinking of this toxic water of the People talking about me behind my back and absorbing that into my cup. Remember, you all are air signs, but you're water bearers. I used to feel foolish before. I feel, used to feel overwhelmed, felt like I was being pulled back to that. Remember, um, feminine energy is magnetic. I was also highly magnetic, cyclic energy. So instead of me being pulled back into other people's um, toxic environments, I'm not going, I'm not receiving phone calls in my ear gate. I'm not looking at their social media eye gate. I'm not interacting with them at all whatsoever. I don't want them act, having access to my, my circle or my cycle. So I've sailed away from those things and I'm moving forward. So somebody is in a good, I mean, really somebody could be disappointed that still people are at a lower frequency that you left behind. But again, the, the closer and closer you get to dry land, the more and more those emotions dry up, the deep disappointment, the frustration dry up. Whereas before you were just sitting there, yeah, you were sitting there and absorbing that kind of energy. You know, you were just absorbing it, like absorbing it and uh, what is this, ruminating over it. Here we have the Ace of Wands. Again, third eye is wide open. Third eye is wide open, Aquarius. We have the King of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. Somebody absolutely, I did see the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, Ten of Swords before. Somebody absolutely had a uh, Joseph experience, you know, in their own family where you were sort of the... People call it the black sheep, but the black sheep actually, if you if you really look at it, is actually the person who is the pioneer, the person who is not as afraid to stand out from the rest, uh, the person who is a risk taker, somebody who is not necessarily trying to hurt anybody, but somebody's like, okay, I'm not going to follow somebody who is not even following source within themselves. Like you could be following your flesh, but you're not following your most high God within yourself. So it's like, why would I follow people who are lost, like a lost sheep who are only following their, or a, a sheep that's blindfolded, following their flesh instead of following their higher self. So I don't feel bad. And that could have made somebody, t people in your family talk about you, say, oh, they think they're better than, they, you know, they came from the same family we came from, they came from the same whatever. But again, the you today, you're not even ruminating over it. You're closing out this cycle in a very healthy way and you're moving forward. So like I said before, get your plane tickets together. Start the process of meeting new people. Be crystal clear about what type of people you want to give access to. Slow down. Like slow down. Listen to those messages that's coming in because you're in receiving mode, right? Remember, when you're ready to blend circles with somebody else that doesn't mean you're breaking your circle the you're whole and they're whole right so you're not even saying oh i sure you know wish i had I, I sure wish i had somebody you're saying i know i found my person but they have to meet this 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 and this because i am this this is what they're getting when they come to my universe so you're not pressed you're not desperate you're not broken you're not missing anything so hopefully that makes sense to somebody. And again, I'm going to say congratulations in advance for whomever won, um, won this book. This book right here. I think somebody, whoever wins the book, I think you're going to really, really like the book. I've, I've, I've re I'm, I, well, I already have the book. I know you're going to like the book. I, think, I, I know you're going to really, really like it. Um, yeah, so... Let's see what else we have here with your cards. Let's see. Three of Swords again. Wow. Okay, so that came out again. So no wonder we got the Page of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords. Wow. Five of Pentacles. 
So this has been really painful for somebody. Like it just depends on who you are. The main thing I want you all to focus on is closing out the cycle, like making it airtight. I'm complete. My divine masculine to my divine feminine, the black and white in me, the seen, the unseen, the known, the unknown. My dualities are good, right? Everything is balanced out. I know everything is a go. I'm the I know sign. So I know everything is a go. But when we talk about walking away from energies who are holding on to secrets um, or trying to project themselves onto you, the, the insecurities, the negativity, trying to keep you further confused. I love you, but this is my idea of love. And you don't really know what love is. And you, you run away from stuff too soon. It's, it's going to make it so clear in your, um, in your, um, relationships, friendships, romantic, it's going to make so much sense as to why you did not leave certain relationships before. So here we have the, uh, did I see the five of pentacles? Okay. So the five of pentacles is that the, the, you used to use this as a crutch, your emotions as a crutch, you know, seeing people. One of the things that's coming to me right now, when it turns to your foundation, in terms of family and all this kind of stuff is that some people are leaving behind people who have stayed in abusive relationships, which really twisted everything for somebody like stayed in like physical, mental, or emotional abuse, abusive relationships and could have twisted things for somebody. And so could have kept you, you know, staying in some abusive friendships, abusive romantic relationships, some abusive jobs, like unhealthy, unsafe, very hostile working environments because somebody convinced you that um, every time things get hard for you, you run or you got to, they, they stayed in something that you knew was wrong. You were almost praying, please leave this relationship because it's a, that energy is, being projected onto you, you know, like children of abuse, like the, the parents may be fighting each other, but they're not, you may not be hit or they may not curse at you or do that kind of stuff to you. But the fact that you see it, it like almost becomes your normal, even though your, your spirit is saying, this is not normal. This isn't right. And you grow up to that same thing. So here we have the, um, the page of pentacles. I thought I saw the page of pentacles before, but I do see new money coming across somebody's path. So new money can look like anything. And then we have the two of pentacles, creative ideas. So there's a lot of receiving here. Like source is really saying to you on the other side, you're going to be receiving a lot of things that you prayed for before your rebirth. So get ready, get yourself mentally prepared to say, okay, those, those cycles that I closed out and people, the, some of the people that don't have any access to me anymore, I'm going to have to almost just like, I'm just you know, going to a rebirth ceremony. They rebirth somewhere else and I rebirth somewhere else, right? So here we have the Seven of Swords, uh, which you already saw. Seven of Swords, you walking away from that. We have the Queen of Swords and we also have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords came out in the first um, first uh, part. Yeah, it came out in the... Yeah, Three of Swords actually came out again here. So Three of Swords is coming out a lot. Yeah, so this lets me know, again, deeply, deeply heartbreaking. And that's why it makes sense that the uh, Page of Cups came out in reverse because somebody is really, really doubting their intuition. Like it's causing somebody to really doubt their, their gifts. Like they're doubting new ideas. They feel like they have some kind of creative blocks. They feel emotionally immature. Maybe that's another thing somebody told you is that, you know, in order to, you know, relationships are supposed to be like that, you must be emotionally immature or something like that. Some kind of stuff that just didn't even feel right to you. But again, now you're going on your own beliefs. You're not going by their beliefs. You're not going by their beliefs anymore. So that's where your foundation is being built. It's like you believe what you want to believe moving forward. So like I said, that... Yeah. So you just, somebody just, like I said, coming out of a family of just a whole bunch of just chaos and confusion at the base, at your root chakra. And let's close this one out. Let's close this one out. Let's close this one out. We don't have to pull too many cards for this bonus reading. So let's go ahead and close this out and see what else we got going. And let's go ahead and finish this up. Finish this up. Oh, let me see something. Let's see something. So hopefully you all are clear and getting prepared for this new moon in Pisces, right? Pisces like this last quarter moon and Scorpio are both water signs. So flush out everything so you can get your foundation good. You know, listen to your sacral chakra music at night, drink your water, do your juice fast, you know, those kind of things. Um, and again, I'm listen, when I say juice fast, 
please go to your doctor first. Please consult your doctors first, right? I'm just giving you ideas of how you can get your, your sacral chakra back in alignment. We have victory. We have the strength card. We also have the nine of wands. We have the eight of cups, four of cups, and the queen of cups. I know so a couple of people in another video had asked me how long should they do a fast, and I send them like go to your doctor. Go, I'm just telling you what I'm just telling you ways that you can get your sacral chakra in alignment. I haven't even told you all about sacral sex or sacred, excuse me, sex, because I didn't even want to introduce that. So you all can look that up if you want to. That's another way of getting your sacral chakra back in alignment. But anyway, here we have the strength card. Somebody is laser focused on, you know, inspiring themselves, like getting yourself in order again you don't have anything to worry about just because you're picking up on people talking about you behind your back you're picking up on a lot of energies you can also just like i said flush that out as well because if you don't know what nurtures your spirit you may go back to um the band-aid method eating unhealthy foods engaging in other things that's just you know stress you know you feel like are stress relievers but they're just putting band-aids over it so anyway here we have the nine of wands so somebody's on the other side of all of this you, victory <laughs> you made it you're not going to repeat a cycle you're not picking back up the phone to call exes you're not pick, picking back up the phone to reach out to certain family members you're just not going backwards right here we have the four of cups the eight of cups did i see the yeah four of cups twice so three of you know so the three of swords and also the four of cups this is like the three of swords came out twice and also the four of cups came out twice, which lets me know somebody sat around and they just thought about that heartbreak. You guys are thinkers. You're the smartest sign in the Zodiac. Your brains never really turn off. Find something else to think about. Find movies during this time. Write a gratitude list. Like do those things that I mentioned, some of those things that I mentioned, but you certainly are compassion. You don't want to lose your compassion. You just don't want to go back. So you're surrendering to your, your purpose here on earth. Here we have the eight of cups. See how this person is walking away? Toss names into a burning bowl and walking into your purpose. Yeah, you're not even you're not even getting caught up in this stuff anymore. So I feel like this is going to be, I feel like after this long journey that somebody went through with people who have burned you, and it could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or it could be a Pisces in there. It could be another Aquarius that hurt you. It could be a Leo you know, that hurts you. Did I mention that's when I mentioned fire signs? It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a Pisces. It could be another Aquarius that hurts you. It really could be any sign, really. It can be any zodiac sign that hurts you. But for you, all you know is that you're tired of dealing with people who haven't closed out cycles and are okay with closing out their own cycles and they don't feel whole. You, you Somebody is just like, I'm just over that. So you're building strength, your third eye, you're paying attention, seeing what you didn't want to see before, right? Yeah, so you're building strength. Let's pull another Moonology card, a number card, and close it out. Remember, your circle is airtight. You're balanced out. You're balanced out. That's why when I mentioned earlier about the um, Vesica Piscis, and those are two circles. When we talk about the number two, we're talking about duality. Um, we're talking about duality within and also connecting with other people who have, you know, your, your dualities are balanced out. Your divine masculine to your divine feminine. Even though your default is directed outward as a divine masculine, you're just as com comfortable receiving you know, you're, you're able to discern what you want to receive and, and you feel just as comfortable saying, nope, I reject that. I decline the offer. No, thank you, but no thank you. Because you, you can already see it coming. You already know how it overwhelm you. So adjustments are required. Yeah, the adjustments are, like I said, you're building your strength. So once you make a decision, you're a fixed sign. Be fixated on, hey, I'm, I decided I'm building my own foundation. I don't need certain types of energies attached to me anymore. That's even hairstylists that you may have gone to. That could be uh, um, 
therapists that you may have gone to. It could have been groups that you belong to. It could be family functions. Whatever it is you decide, hey, that has no place in my life anymore. Stand firm on it, Aquarius. Stand firm. It's a, it's, we're moving towards a new you. And that new you is going to land on the bright side of the moon in Pisces where you feel more compassionate, more sensitive, more loving, more creative, more loyal to yourself first and foremost. That's water energy. You cannot be overwhelmed and operating in your gift without knowing how to, you know, release some of that, that stress. So adjustments are required. This is third quarter moon here. And so you got some time to go ahead and close it out. We don't start a new moon or a new cycle, a new phase until the 20th of February. So when you see this video, it may be the 16th or 17th, but you, there's still time. Get your rest, flush all of that out so you can have clarity of thought so you can start receive, like making room to receive the things you've always wanted your whole life. So that's what I have for you. Again, congratulations to whoever wins this Reiki, your personal guidebook. And I will see what other gifts um, I can get before we close out Aquarius season. That's what I have for you. Bye.